Hi guys, Heather and Amelia back with another episode of Drinks and Design. And today we are actually going to be sipping on and reviewing a bottle of wine from the south of France. Um, ironically, I'm going to pronounce this wrong. You want me to pronounce it? Heather's going to pronounce it, which is just hilarious because <laughs> both of us went um, and took French immersion. So technically, we're both. You should well. be able to say I it. I should be able to say this, and I feel really rusty. <laughs> so this is from um, Gérald Bertin, and it is the Côte de Rose Rosé. <laughs> Before we do anything else, can we open it? Yes. Okay. Um, while I do this, do you want to tell them why we picked this bottle? Okay. So we actually originally saw, there's two versions of the bottle. There's a larger version that we saw on the shelf. Uh, and we really liked the um, pronounced shape of the bottle was the first thing that caught our eye. Um, and then some unique details that we'll get into later. Super excited about tasting this. Uh, and just a little element of delight. I've only ever seen this on a few other wine bottles in my day, but as opposed to like a twist off cap or a cork, it actually has a glass stopper. Yeah, which is a really nice high end detail. Mm -hmm. um, also reusable. Yep. <laughs> Cheers. That was a great clip. Oh, it rang. So right off the bat, it's got this gorgeous light blush color to yes. it. It's quite pretty quite um floral. floral on the nose a little bit fruity as well yeah it's got um you can smell some strawberries you can smell you can definitely smell florals um rose in particular say, rose in um, particular <laughs> perfumey yeah it's quite perfumey um but not sometimes sometimes rose is when they're perfumey they're it's almost like a perfume you can get like a headache not the yeah, case this here is like it's that really hint. nice this is like yeah. that hint of perfume which is how you should be wearing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taste-wise, mm. this is actually a uh, blend of reds. Yes. Um, that none of which I can pronounce, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's it's actually a dry rosé. A lot of rosés are really sweet. This one's more on the dry side with just that hint of sweetness on the tip of your tongue. Yes. You can taste when you sip it. You can taste, you get florals on the nose, and then when you sip, you can taste strawberries. You can, I feel like I can taste a little bit of those floral notes, and then mm -hmm. it does have a little, like, t like just a touch of citrus as well. Yeah. Um, it's also very light. It's mm -hmm. not a very full-bodied wine, so, which is great if you're looking for something not quite as heavy. If you want something that's more of a light sipper or yes. with light food, um... Like this is not gonna stand up to something really heavy, but um, if you're having like a really light meal. Mm -hmm. um, I would say this would pair really nicely with any seafood. Mm -hmm. White fish or scallops, anything like that, it would go really nicely with, I think. Nice fresh summer salad maybe mm -hmm. with seasonal vegetables or fruits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of a vibe, let me tell you where you will drink this wine <laughs> or where you should drink this wine. Um, this is a very specific vibe, but for me, when I sip this, I close my eyes and I imagine that I am in the south of France. I am sitting on a beach. I've got my little um, sun umbrella protecting me from the some, from the sun, from the heat waves. Um, but then I am having this wine delivered to me on a platter by a very muscular tan Frenchman. <laughs> That's where I am when I sit this. That's the vibe. So my vibe is not quite as elaborate, <laughs> but I was picturing like an upscale vineyard or countryside brunch, hmm. like with maybe an eggs benny. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like a nice uh, eggs benny with farm fresh eggs and mm -hmm. like a fancy cured ham. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just that beautiful country vista, right? Yes. Like you're looking out over the hills, the sun is shining bright greens and golds. It's beautiful. Yeah. Jehal Beltran Group um, began producing wine in 1975 uh, and they're very committed to um, ideas of like sustainability and uh, the environment as well as showcasing the variety and distinctness of the different terroirs of the region. So um, their four fundamental values are excellence, authenticity, uh, conviviality, and innovation. 
and they're very committed to the concept of um, viticulture in harmony with nature. I found that the branding for the winery was a bit more on the traditional side. Mm -hmm. They have that crest that they, they use as yes. their logo. Um, and then their fonts tend to be serif, although it's more of a subtle serif, so it's a little bit more modern in that regard. And then they tend to use a lot of traditional elements like white or white, white, white or off white labels, uh, script and serif fonts, mm -hmm. um, traditional styled artwork and those like decorative elements like, you know, the double borders and stuff like that. Yes. And their colors tend to be more red with gold accents. I was just going to say the gold accent is what caught me on their branding as a whole when I was checking them out. Um, very gold, very traditional, You everything to a T that you just said. Yeah. Whereas this bottle is a little different. <laughs> this bottle specifically, like, we could not leave the liquor store without buying it because we had to know what it tasted like. Yeah. Um, strict, and we bought it strictly based on the bottle and how it looked. Yeah. Um, Heather mentioned this, but at, uh, maybe we can put the stopper back. Put the stopper back and try to show you guys. But the bottom of this bottle is actually a rose. You can see rose petals. So that's what really caught our attention and it makes this bottle so unique. Yeah, so the uh, bottom of the bottle is molded to create the same image as the rose that is on the bottle. And also it's very small here, but it's actually the O in coat. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was just such a lovely detail to us. Yes. Um, some other things though that helped it catch our eye was the shape of the bottle. This is one of those bottles that's really wide at the bottom and has one of those more gradual tapers to the top, which I always feel looks so much more elegant. It's elevated. Yeah. It's a very elevated So, bottle. and the smaller bottle still mimics that. It's just not mm -hmm. as exaggerated as the larger version. Yeah. And then they also, um, used these rose gold metallics which is very sort of high end, mm -hmm. um, but they used it, you know, on the sticker here um, and just a little bit in this label. So it's not overpowering. And then I found that um, they have very minimalist labeling on this. They don't have the big label across the front. So it's really the wine that's doing most of the talking. That yeah. beautiful blush colored wine is what's drawing you in. Yeah. The wine, the bottle shape, it all is what, that's what speaks to you as opposed to the label next. Yeah, all these details come together, the glass stopper, the rose gold metallic accents, mm -hmm. the minimalist labeling, and of course, that gorgeous molded bottom to tell you that like, this is something high end, sophisticated. Elegant. Exactly. So we, this, for such a simple, simple looking bottle, this grabbed our eye on the shelf and we were just immediately in love with it. Yeah. we. We had to have it. We did. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our beautiful rose colored light pink wine. Um, in terms of taste, we've got, it's very floral on the nose. We get hints of strawberry. We have hints of uh, rose when you're sipping it. And then you have a little bit of citrus just at the end there. In terms of branding, the winery itself is very traditional, but with this bottle, they went with a little more contemporary vibe. It's got beautiful high-end touches like the glass stopper and the um, rose gold metallics. And of course, the beautiful molded bottle bottom uh, and the uh, classic, not classic, but elegant bottle yeah. shape that really make it look um, like a high-end. It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's, that's, yeah, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> It's beautiful. Like, it's a simple, classic French beauty. Cheers. Cheers. Do you want more great marketing, drinking, and design content? You can follow Highlight on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And then follow Drinks and Design on Instagram. See you next time. I didn't like the wave. I didn't like your wave? I didn't like my wave. Okay, well, I will keep my wave. It's weirdly awkward. It's fine. It's us. Heather, we are awkward. I know, it's on brand. <laughs>